Hi, welcome to Auntie Nat's Crochet. Today I'm going to make a bird nest with this Ming fur or some call it eyelashes yarn. It looks something like this. This is how it looked like in the back. And this is the fur part. So some call it eyelashes yarn. Eyelashes fur yarn. Um, I bought this for fun. So I actually I not sure what I can do with it until now I thought I want to make a bird nest because I crochet some birds <laughs> just for decoration not to um, save any birds or any rescue nesting so with this for yarn now I'm gonna make a small nest and I'm going to use a uh, 8mm hook because this is considered a chunky yarn, quite a chunky yarn. So this is the first time I'm going to work with fur yarn or chunky or eyelashes yarn. If you have any idea what I can do with this, you can put in the comment section. Okay, I'm going to make a chain. So this is my habit of making a chain. I'm not sure if you can see the chain because of all the fur. So with this fur yarn, I cannot make magic ring. So I'm gonna chain four. So one, two, three, four. So after four, I'll join with the first one. You just slip stitch. So once I join with the slip stitch, there'll be a hole in the middle here. So this hole, I'm gonna make six single crochet. By right, I should make a magic ring, but with this, I don't think I can pull. So I'm gonna make six single crochet. This is one. I think I'm gonna mark my way through. And this is two. This is three. This is four. Five. And six. See, everything is completely hidden. <laughs> maybe I can make puff balls with this. Or maybe a bucket hat. But even with a bucket hat, I think I still have to feel my way through. Okay, this is the first stitch. And I hope by then I can still get the sixth stitch. Okay, hang in there. I should mark my stitches. Okay, I've marked every single stitch of it. So now I have six. I hope I can still find them. <laughs> okay. Actually, with this, this kind of circle, I could have done it in less than 5 minutes. But now it's like I'm taking forever. Oops. Oh, the fur get in the way. Okay, now I'm supposed to do increase. Started with 6. So now I do increase, means I should have 12 stitches all around. So this is one. Uh oh, I should mark the first one. This is one increase. <sighs> Let me mark the second increase <laughs> in case I couldn't find it later on. Okay, one, two, another one, two, One, two, 
okay if you're not using this style of fur you can just refer to my blog and get the actual uh, pattern actually it's just a normal circle pattern this normal circle pattern where we do increase okay so after the increase we're gonna do single crochet followed by an increase okay let me mark my way first okay I have marked the six uh, increase where it should be now I'm gonna do single crochet followed by one increase so all in you're gonna get 18 stitches all around so I'm gonna start with the yellow I'll remind myself the yellow is always the starting point so in the yellow here I'm gonna do one single crochet let me mark my way whoa I can't even feel where it is okay I guess that's it then the next one just next to it feel your way through the next one I'm gonna do increase one two okay this purple color I'm gonna do one single crochet next one I'm gonna do increase okay when it comes to the marker I'm supposed to do one single crochet feel my way to the second one this one I'm gonna do increase oh sh the fur is getting in the way but it's actually very soft and nice to touch nice to work with but very hard to see single crochet Followed by increase. Single crochet. Next one is increase. You really have to feel your way around single crochet and the last one is an increase in this style of fur I will never know if I get it wrong <gasps> it still looks like a circle right <laughs> Okay, I come to the starting point here. Here I should do over here I should have 18 stitches all around, but I don't think I can count. I can't even see. I have to feel my way through. So now the next one I'm supposed to do increase followed by two single crochet. So let me mark my way again. Okay, now I'm supposed to do increase followed by two single crochet I've marked it all the markers should be increased and then I should find my way with the two single crochet I wonder if I put this on a tree will the birds come and lay eggs it does look like a nest I mean like it's kind of soft for eggs <laughs> Maybe I should put out a sign there to say to let. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, first one I'm supposed to do increase. So before I lose my way, it's best I mark it first. Ooh. 
I don't know where I'm marking to. Okay, I'm supposed to do increase. I truly have to feel my way. Okay, after the increase. Oops, here are you. Uh oh. Do two single crochet. One, two. Means single crochet in the next two. And now, increase. Once you find this hole, just put your nail or finger on it. Increase. One, two. Maybe once you get a hang of it, it should be easy. This one should be an increase. Followed by single crochet in the next two. Increase. Whoa, do I even have a two here? Wait, let me check. Uh, one. One. Two. Increase. Oops. Okay, after the increase, it should be a one, two, increase. Okay, I've completed this row. Wow, it does look like a bird nest. Okay, I should have 24 stitches in this round. And now I need to mark my way through. Okay, I've marked my way. So if you think the nest is big enough for you, this is what you want. You can start to do single crochet all around. So once you do single crochet all around for one or two row, it will kind of curl a little bit upwards. So now it's still kind of flat. I can bend it actually. But if you do single crochet, it will curl more. Because this is a fur ming. Uh, ming fur yarn. That's why you cannot see whether <laughs> it's flat or not. Actually, it's flat. But I can actually shape it in a curl. So now I want to do two more rows before I start to do single crochet all around. So up to you. If you think you want it this size, this is actually my palm size. If you want it this size, you can start to do your single crochet all around. And you can hang this on your Christmas tree this year. Okay. Now I'm going to do three single crochet. Okay, let me mark that for us. Truly have to feel my way. Two. Three, followed by an increase. So have you ever tried cruciating with Ming Fur? So what did you do? I mean, what kind of project did you do? You can send a picture 
to me and leave it in my comment section And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be having lots more video in the future. still so many things that I want to crochet that I have not tried crochet sure is a great hobby a fun hobby for me one two this is big enough for you you just do single crochet all around if not you can follow my lead I'm gonna do one more last row okay this last row I'm gonna do increase followed by four single crochet or so you can call it single crochet in the next four I'm just going to remove my marker because after this I'm just going to do single crochet all around increase Three, four. 
if on a normal cotton yarn or normal yarn I would have completed this circle in less than five minutes this is challenging but it's kind of fun increase whoops one two three four increase one two three four for those who have not tried crocheting with Ming Fu and would like to try, you know, maybe you can do something small like bird nests like me. So you at least you get the feel of how it is and maybe from there you can make a bucket hat. Increased. And then one. Two, three, four. Okay, now from here on, I'm gonna do single crochet all around. There's no increase, so it should curl up a bit. I'll come back to you at the end of two incre uh, two single crochet all around, and see how much it curls up. Okay, this is how it looked like after two rows of single crochet all around. It curls up a bit here. It curls up a bit here. Now it really do look like a bird nest. So you want to know what kind of bird I'm going to put inside here. You have to follow, subscribe and stay tuned. And I'll let you know in my next post. So stay tuned.